Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to save Thanksgiving dinner. Welcome to Mythical Kitchen, where dreams become food. Listen, we can give you all the cooking tips and tricks and recipes that we want to, but at the end of the day, this is a cooking show. This is not real life. We don't have the distractions. We don't have the messes. We don't have all the real life situations that make cooking at home difficult, which is why we are fully recreating that with all of the kitcheneers sabotaging me on the day when all cooking sabotages seem to come together, and that is Thanksgiving. I have had to drive my father to the emergency room twice on Thanksgiving, one from third degree burns, one a knife fell in his foot. That we're, hopefully that's not gonna happen today. We have no stabbings planned, scaldings. We'll figure that out later, but we are cooking Thanksgiving dinner. Things are gonna go wrong and I'm gonna teach you how to solve all of those mistakes. All right, Josh, it's Thanksgiving afternoon, turkey's in the oven, guests are coming at six, but something doesn't feel right. God, what was your favorite dinosaur? Stegosaurus. Aha, <laughs> dinosaurs were real. Take that, half the kids in my high school. I got a 17 pound turkey. I like to get big ass turkeys because I like to have big ass leftovers and I love me a good turkey salad sandwich. Uh, 15 minutes per pound at 325 is typically how you do it, but then you start temp checking it, make sure the breast gets to about 150 before you pull it, maybe 148, get up to 165. So turkey's been in for four hours and 15 minutes. <sighs> Or are you trying to keep warm? Well, let's temp it. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, this is uh, 94.2 degrees towards the bone on the breast. Let's get to the outside. About 102 degrees. So we need, God dang it, to raise this turkey. <laughs> we need to raise this turkey's temperature uh, 50 degrees roughly in a short amount of time. There's a couple options here. What we could do, uh, foil tenting is a big thing. I don't like that because it makes the skin rubbery, but also we're screwed. This has happened to me before too. I tried to spatchcock a turkey and they're like, a spatchcock turkey only takes an hour to cook. And then I put it in for an hour and it was like 87 degrees. And I'm like, thanks, serious eats. What I would do, oh, screw it, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Daddy. Daddy. Oh, no, ow, she got me in the taint, Daddy. ow. Michael, happy who? Thanksgiving, Daddy. Oh, happy uh, Thanksgiving, uh, Nana. Uh, oh, you've really took, uh, you've really taken a turn since I last saw you in uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Joshy, when is the food gonna be ready? I guess I oh. just the turkey. It's so cold right now. Oh, I don't I know. I need to take my pills. No, I can't I don't... do that without the turkey. <laughs> can you eat some? Can you eat a cracker? Uh, can you eat a couple townhouse club yeah. crackers? Stop my hips anything. about to go out. You uh, and me both. Josh, I need to take my piss. Hurry up. Oh, you need to take your piss? Uh, yes. Uh, you haven't taken your piss yet? Oh, uh, this wig is like 80 years old. Uh, hurry up. <laughs> no. Hurry up. Get out of the kitchen, Nana. Uh, see you soon. Nana needs turkey to take your pills. Nana can't eat anything else. This is this is uh, also a thing I actually deal with. Um, Break down your turkey. Nobody needs a full turkey on Thanksgiving. You remove the breast. You shouldn't even cook a full turkey as it is uh, because the breast is automatically going to overcook before the dark meat is actually cooked. If you want to do it properly, you have to like ice down the breasts and gently warm the bottom and it's stupid. Nobody needs the Norman Rockwell ass, uh, you know, ritual of carving a whole bird. Just break it down, just break it down. Even though it's hot, we're just gonna do it. I'm gonna take the legs off first. This is gonna drip all over the counter, but you just gotta sanitize stuff later. Oh God, oh, it's so cold in there. Oh, why did you put it to keep warm? Well, we're just gonna break off the quarters here and then we're just gonna start heating pans and just like killing this off, man. Do you guys know why they're called a turkey? It's actually really incredible. It literally, so like the country was named Turkey first, and there was like the Ethiopian guinea fowls at a port in Turkey, because turkeys are indigenous to the Americas, so like nobody had turkeys in the world until, you know, the, the Colombian exchange. And there were like Ethiopian guinea fowls that people like thought were Turkish guinea fowls, uh, but people mistook them for turkeys at a Turkish port. So it was just like mistaking one bird for another bird for another bird. And they're like, what are these weird birds called? And they're like, ah, I saw one in Turkey, it's called a turkey. We're working, we're working. Where's grandma? Where's Nana? Nana, are you okay? Are you fainting? Also, the pills she's taking, just Molly. She loves raving. Oh, Joshy, I still need to 
protect my pills. Can you stretch my hips? Yeah, no, I don't want to stretch your hips. Not in front of everybody else. I'll do it later in private, Grandma. I know it's important to you. All right, we got all the dark meat broken down. Now I'm gonna break down the light meat. I Normally I'd like to remove the spine here because that's gonna let the breast set better. Love this for me. Oh God, look at that. <laughs> yeah, no, once my dad was uh, trying to carve a turkey and the knife just slipped out of his hand. We're just gonna throw this somewhere. You can turn this into gravy. Yeah. The knife slipped out of his hand and he was barefoot in the kitchen, which is how I like to be. And then it just fell into his foot. Uh, and then he, and then we're like, do we pull out yeah. the knife? Do you remember when dad, remember My Russell? Hips. I know your hips. Do you remember when Russell had the knife in his foot, I Nana? Think, I think I took my sleeping pills. Oh, no, no, don't, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. I think she has a concussion. So we're going to take the knife and we're going to run it right through. The, oh, she, I think she's fine. Just if she's about to fall over, somebody let me know and I'll catch her. There, no, 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 no. Not today. Okay. Do not go gently into that good night. Rage, rage okay. against the dying of the light, Nana. I'll be on the couch. When you are the only one cooking on Thanksgiving, it is a war. And when rank and file breaks down in war, you must fire line of sight. You must get every single pan that you have going and you must cook everything like your life depends on it because it is Thanksgiving and it is about fun and it is about family and it is ultimately about avoiding abject failure. Melting a ton of, this is straight margarine. I think it tastes more like butter than butter. I grew up in a margarine household. I'll die a margarine household. We're just heating that in there and then we're just gonna start throwing our turkey bits in there. And a great way to save anything during Thanksgiving, Donnie Sacheries. We already wet brine this chicken, but now listen, we need, dad needs a little extra help. Dad needs a little extra help on his turkey. Boom. Big old breast going down there. Get that skin side down. And now, at this point, it's just about getting the meat done. It's just about cooking it as much as you can. There ain't no crowding pans. There ain't no like, oh, we don't want any steam to happen. No, this doesn't matter. This is about getting your family fed. This is about getting Nana her pills. Nana, are you dead yet? Are you okay? I'm okay. Nana, watch Judge Judy. Ooh. I know you, Judith Scheindlin, she's Jewish. You like her. Judy. You didn't know that's no that's that's no that's Julie Leibowitz, not Judith Scheindlin. Judith Judith Scheindlin's the judge. You like her because she's tough but fair. Who? Yeah, no, Julie Leibowitz. You went to school with her. Oh, Leibowitz, that's my ex-boyfriend. Yeah, no, that was Michael Leibowitz. Different Leibowitz. It's she's listen. She's met so many people in her life. How could you possibly expect her to keep any of them straight? We're gonna take the gross turkey pan drippings. We're gonna add this in here. It's gonna cook. We're throwing this back in the oven. What this is gonna do is cause steam to rise and it's actually gonna steam the turkey, get nice and juicy and moist. Oven has been taken off warm. Thanks, guys. Oh, my hands! Oh, God, man, no! What I like to do is I like to make my sides like really early in the morning, make sure they're fully cooked and at a point where I can just throw them in the oven because sometimes you got things rotating out. God, God dang it. Stop, no, why do we keep giving you a blowtorch? Has, can we take the key away from her for the flammables cabinet? And she's burning it. And I don't, sometimes I think like if I was in an active shooter situation, I'd rush the gunman, but then I end up here and I just don't know what to do. I just freeze. I would just stand there and it's just on fire. Um, are you happy with yourself? You're like my cat when he crap. Ah, oh, I was gonna use those. I was, I'm just, can I just, I don't, here, just, can you just get away. Stop, stop eating my nose. Get, get it out of there, get it out of there. Get him out, you gotta wrestle. Get him. No, he's cat. Oh, there's yeah, onions all over the floor. Who? Get out of here. Guess who? Oh, oh no. Oopsies. Stop. Why would you do that? Oopsies. Oh my God, wait, do you hear that? I think that's mom's ghost and she said you suck. I know she thought I sucked. That's why we got a divorce before you she died. You suck. Yeah, mom I know. Said it. No, and we're all just trying our best. Hey, your mac and cheese is a little wet there, pops. What happened to your onions? Yeah, no, a maniac came in with a blowtorch because everything bad seems to happen to me. Wah! Yeah, there it is. Nope. nope. Doctor said let him cry it out and it would help him. And then it turns out sometimes you never stop crying. You doing okay though? How's cool? Good luck. All right. 
It's times like these where I'm glad that I start drinking early in the morning on Thanksgiving just to cope with everything. Um, even if a maniac with a blowtorch doesn't come in and completely obliterate your casserole, this is a thing that's happened to me in the past where I swear to God, do not touch the broiler setting at all on Thanksgiving. Do not do it. You might think, ooh, just a little bit more crisp on this casserole, just a little bit of brulee on that cheese. No, no, no. You're always gonna forget it. It's always gonna burn. That's happening with green bean casserole multiple times. Um, okay, okay, solution, solution. I'm just gonna start bailing out. I'm just gonna scrape all of this off and, oh, it smells like butane. We got it, oh, it goes a full layer deep. No, we gotta get all this off. You can make fried onions from scratch. It's actually really, really easy. Um, the key is to fry them at a low temperature. This is something I've done a lot, like crispy shallots. <sighs> got the layer off, no topping in the casserole. Ugh, I need more bowls. I need more bowls. Go. Nana's hungry, okay. I'm gonna fill this, where are you at? I'm gonna fill this bowl with flour. Tony Sashery's season up the flour. Listen, honestly, that's why I love having just an all-purpose seasoning blend at any point. Cause you can just like pop, 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 and then you got boom flavor in your food. Unofficial seasoning, Thanksgiving. Cool. Give that a nice toss. Uh, Tony, <laughs> the ghost of Tony Sashery has entered me as is the ghost of my dead ex-wife. Yeah, what's up guys? So we keep our oil over here. Ugh. Do you need a jug of oil this big now? Swear and final, it's where you go. Save lots of money. Shop like a pro, not a sponsor. Just got a good jingle and sell a lot of oil. When are you getting married? You got engaged like two years ago. You wanna plan the wedding at Sheila? All right, we're cool, we're cool. Onions, I'm gonna add a little bit of what to the onions to let the flour stick. Ooh. Slancha, uh, that was just that was just water. I like to hydrate. I want the onions to be wet because I want a lot of flour to stick to these. And then we're just gonna get it in the oil, low heat. I know, I'm trying my best. There you go, get a lot of flour covering those onions. Onions do have some natural wet to it. You don't need to go crazy with like a double dredge, egg batter, all that stuff, you know, but you do want a lot of flour coverage. Shake as much flour as you can off, otherwise you'll just get gunk in the bottom of the pan. And take these, just lay them in your oil. You don't have to temp check it. You want the oil to be at pretty low temperature because you do want these to sort of like dehydrate the onions. That's why we cut, cut, we cut, we cut the onions small. Nah, uh, mac and cheese, that's soupy, god dang it. Um, water will naturally cook out of something, right? When you see something steam in the oven, even something like mac and cheese, steam is literally water exiting the the vessel, like the a uh, uh, demon exiting that little green girl's mouth that goes like in that one movie. Um, I'm gonna dump some of that water off. We're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch and a little bit of milk to this pan. <laughs> Don't need that anymore. Oh, all the water's absorbed. No! Get out of here! Can swim, I, swim, move! Can I invite 10 of my baby friends to dinner? Yeah, you can bring 10 of your baby friends to dinner. Are you promise? Yes, I Are promise. Are you gonna cook enough? Are yes. you gonna make the mac and I cheese promise. better? It looks kinda yeah, soupy. Yeah, I'm gonna make the mac and cheese better, okay? If you just promise to no, not I, keep bringing no up your dead mother. That. A green bean casserole. I know, no, there's no, onions, onions frying right now. The onions are frying slowly, okay? I just need too. you to know that I've done my it's best as a too. father, and I know that it's not I always... saw this video on TikTok <sighs> about how to make your better fried onions than French's, and it doesn't really look like what you're doing. What, why, stop going on TikTok. Maybe I thought I took away your TikTok. phone. There's a lot to learn there. I know this um, Okay, my friends are gonna be over in like 20, so Oh, the water's going ready. in there. Who are your friends? Is it Rolf from the bowling alley again? Yeah, well, Rolf's actually, you didn't know this, but he's staying in the garage. Oh, God. Oh, that's it all. He's already here. The banging has been. Mac and cheese is a resilient food, just like I have a resilient son who hey, dealt with hey, a lot of hey, emotional hey, trauma. Hey, yeah, what? Dummy. What? You're going to want to close the fridge when you're done with it. Oh, my God. Letting all the cold Listen, out. No, that's hate. I'm a I baby know. and I know that. Okay, yeah, the baby knows it. Okay, so the cornstarch is a great thickener. That's a great save for mac and cheese. If you have a cheese sauce, if you've tried to make a bechamel sauce or a mornay when you add cheese to it with a flour roux and all that, it's kind of deceptively easy to screw up. Sometimes the cheese will break. Uh, when you do that, milk cornstarch, pop it in there. The cornstarch is gonna bind everything. As long as you have a bunch of cheese, a bunch of fat and noodles, like that's all people want about their mac and cheese. If something bad happens to it in the oven, you can just do this, add more cheese to the top, and then pop that in. I'm gonna take this in the pot that's combined, all the cornstarch milk, oh God, back in there. Back in there, it's fine. I'm just gonna spread it back out. No, I thought it was another sabotage, it was just Maggie. Harry Potter looking ass. We're filming this on Halloween. Onions still frying off, these need about three minutes. But hey, we all know Thanksgiving's a super easy and fun meal to cook. Every single year everyone rolls around. But if you decide that hey, maybe you don't want to put yourself through abject hell 
and you want to make it a little bit easier, go to spork.com and see their official recs for all the shortcuts and hacks and pre-made foods that you can buy to make your life just a little bit better. I could have been on the couch right now watching Jared Goff slinging it to Amon Ra, and I'm not. I'm here. Anybody? Lions football. Dan, come on, Dan Campbell. A new era begins. So Josh, you've survived the sides, but now for the finishing touches. Before you, you have gravy and a pumpkin pie, but there are two things wrong. Yeah, this gravy sucks. I made a perfectly good gravy earlier. Now someone seems to have added clumps of flour into it. Who tried to cook? I'm gonna unlump this in the damn blender. Also, if he's got pie so soupy, god dang it. Oh, you could just see it swirl around. Ugh, don't make pies, outsource your desserts. If there's anything you outsource, just make it desserts. Desserts and entertainment, hire a clown, and then have somebody bake oh your pies. Have a clown bake your pies. Oh my gosh, is that Christ. the Josh Sharer? Oh, uh, my long lost cousin oh. from Alpharetta, Georgia has I come to play. I remember you when you were this yeah. tall. Oh yeah. my goodness. Uh -huh. How's Julia doing? Oh, she's doing great. I remember you uh, when you said you got sober. Oh, uh, I know. I just a little drink and drink. A little, <laughs> little one or two or three every day. Yeah, you know? Why do you have a straw if you're not going to use it? Um, so when are you? When are y'all getting married? I do. We're trying to figure it out. We thought we had a venue, but it didn't work out. Can I get a plus one or plus two? No, plus you can't. Three? We, you, we, I'm, I, we're still, we're still, you know, it's expensive. We're still trying you know, to figure out. You know, I remember when I, I got married to my first husband. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, um, you remember, remember, you remember? Yeah, Gregory. No, yeah. He's yeah, yeah. And not we great. found him, we found him with the priest in the, yeah. In the, yeah. They're so happy together now. Yeah, That's they are. my favorite they're, thing. They're happy now. They're, the animal sanctuary? Yeah. My bridesmaid also, yeah. You know, she's, them? yeah, no, it's, yeah, I, I listen, we, I support their polyamorous thruple where they raise yeah. uh, baby, what, it's Nigerian Niger yeah. p pygmy goats. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Yeah. I know, I know, but, um, it's, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah. Do you, do you ever go visit or, or no? I just, Nigeria? Just no, no, the animal sanctuary, the polyamorous goat sanctuary. That no, your ex husband no, Gregory no, runs with I, the I priest and the bridesmaid. For, I don't yeah. got time for that. I don't That's got okay. time for that. That's okay. I hope you, had, you still have a good relationship with Gregory. Uh, oh, God dang it! Joshua! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I need a little more drinky drink. Did you know? Did you hear the news? I got my baby taken away. <laughs> no, I, I didn't. My baby taken away. I refuse to take sides on this. Child Protective Services does good work overall. You haven't seen him at all? No, I haven't seen what? You don't know where your baby went? No, I left him at the park. God. I left him at the park and yeah, I guess, uh, I don't know what happened. Yeah, what, but the, the government took him away or you just left him in the park and somebody did? Like, like are we talking uh, a security guard, a panel van? Know. What happened? I feel like you gotta find your kid. Find your kid. You're talking too fast. You're talking too fast. Oh All right, so I'm gonna try and blend the lumps in. I'm adding a little bit of beef bouillon, even though we're making a turkey, and I've added a little bit of browning because this got pale because I had cheese on the Can counter. I sit right here? Yo. I just am feeling a little dizzy. Yeah, if you throw up into the pie, I swear to God, mm. you are excommunicated from the family. Can You're I going get... to the goat farm. I'm uh, Don't think of the pie. Oh, why is this? God. Another great hack, uh, bacteria will cook mm. out even from saliva in an yeah, oven. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's mm. so you, you would say raw eggs. What's I've that, can I try that? Begged for salmonella to I come for try, somebody can I try a little bit of so gravy? badly. No, you can't try the gravy, I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, could you go? Oh my God, is that Aunt Karen over there? And looks like she has a new certified oh. pre-owned car. Who's yeah. buying that car for her? You should go Grandma. gossip with her. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna make what's called a foil halo. So this it actually feels like Thanksgiving. This really does. Great job, everybody. It's like an immersive theater experience. Um, except there's a lot less freaking nerds here. So, uh, <laughs> you guys ever go to one of those? It's weird. Um, create a foil halo. So basically what you need to do is you need to prevent direct heat from getting on the crust while having ambient heat cook the custard in the middle. So you can literally just take foil, tuck this in, and then gently, gently, gently press this around the crust. This is an annoying process. I've had to do this to many a pie. So many ovens are uneven, like you're not cooking one of them French combi ovens, you know what I mean? So you gotta make do with what you got. Just gonna simply foil tent this. All right, so this is just gonna make it easier to transport. Cool, loose foil halo so you don't destroy the integrity of the crust, but none of that heat's getting on there. Fantastic, ovens are filled with everything. Okay, we're gonna put this in with, gosh, God dang it. Pie's going back in the oven until it stops welding. Oh! Can you need a little more vodka in this place? Here, okay, no, here, I just, you wanna. 
here, take this. Take here. I'll refill your drink. I'll real refill your drink if you if you promise me that you're gonna it's leave. It's not working. What's oh this, no, honey, no. That's a oh that's my cigarette. Pencil. Remember last cigarette. week? No, you tried to smoke a plastic straw oh, last week. You no, inhaled no, a lot of fumes. No, no, that was Uncle Jerry Seinfeld. No, that wasn't Uncle Jerry Seinfeld. No, but I love this mixed uh, Southern yeah. evangelical and Jewish yeah. family that we have. Um, no, you had to inhale plastic fumes. We sent it's you to the like hospital. An espresso martini. You had to get I your... love those. You like those espresso martinis? Yeah, I know. I love that. I love that. Mm. But remember, last time you had to get your lungs pumped, and I didn't know that was no. a medical procedure. Me? Who? Yeah, no, Me? Abs absolutely. No, no that it's must fine. Have been, no, that must have been it's, oh my God, is that your baby? Go get it, Corinne. Find him. My baby? Where's my oh. baby? After a long and arduous Thanksgiving dinner preparation process, I mean, we ended up with a delicious looking plate of food. The turkey is cooked and it's juicy. The fried onions, I mean, these look absolutely primo. The mac and cheese, all that water evaporated out, the cornstarch binded it, and the pie is completely set. I'm ready to eat, let's get some gravy on this turkey. It's the most magical time of year. Thanksgiving, where nothing goes wrong. We're in the Invisible Kitchen! I'm Josh! Yeah. A little ripped, but not too ripped! Yeah. Where stars become dreams, but <laughs> dreams are also food. That's what I say. That was all that worked out in my head, but I am Josh. Um, here to um, kind of take this from you, I guess, or sabotage it, not really make it easy for you to eat. You should probably <laughs> have a hard time doing it or something. Um, I was told to arm wrestle, arm wrestle you. I want to arm wrestle me. <laughs> me and me arm wrestle now. Who's got the bigger one? I just, I just, Come on. I just, go! <laughs> I wanna go home. You ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you look so much. Track and field. It's still <laughs> interesting. Well, you know what time it is. It wouldn't be another sabotage episode if I didn't have to do all the freaking dishes that are just swarming in salmonella. So, uh, camera people, come follow me. Ven conmigo. Let's go do some dishes. Just like normal, I cook, you clean, except no, I'm passed out, I'm looking for my baby, I'm a grandma, and I haven't taken my pills. I heard my name. Grandma, did you get your pills? Why you didn't stretch me, guys? I don't, I, I'm covered in turkey grease, I can't, stop poking me God. with the cane. Stop How poking me with you? the cane. I'm 31 years old. Whoa. How old are you? Uh, you know. Yeah. You know what he told me? What? <laughs> Why do you sound like that? Are you getting my bath ready? Yes, I have your bubble bath ready. Okay, I'm ready. I got it with the Epsom salts like you like it. Uh, where am I? Where's, where Where did the dish, we used to have a whole dish rack here. Caroline. Where did the whole, What's oh your name again? Oh my God! Can Rolf come in the house? Yeah, Rolf can come in the house, man. He just, he smells like a smell that I've never smelled before and that unnerves me. Can we smoke oh, cigarettes baby. in the house? No oh, cigarettes. You keep the cigarettes out of the house. Baby. You find your baby. You, you're going to the home. It's my baby. It's my baby. Oh God, you're really just laying on this floor. That is the worst thing. You've seen what's on this floor. Sporked is your resource for fast and easy last minute Thanksgiving foods. Find the best tasting canned cranberry sauce, instant gravy, frozen mashed potatoes, pre-made pies, and more on sporked.com.